Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. So I realized I didn't really show you guys a good look at our giant 1,000 scoring diamond fox. So now we're going to take a better look at him. And then we'll talk about what we're going to do next. So here he is right here, right out in the front. So anyways, now that you got a good look at him, the next thing I really want to get in this lodge is a diamond potential mule deer. And the way to do that is by going out on Parquet Fernando and hunting like crazy to try and find a giant mule deer. Uh, now, normally I would say that this doesn't really work out. Normally a lot of my diamonds I find are basically just by luck and I spot them. But in this particular case, I was hunting for uh, about three and a half hours last night, um, just looking around for heavy tracks, looking for big mule deer. And I was even checking for some water buffalo. Maybe we could find a, a diamond potential water buffalo as well. Well, we didn't find a diamond water buffalo, but we found something pretty cool. And well, let me just show you. So I'm pretty sure that's another albino water buffalo. This time we're gonna use a seven millimeter and take a shot. Go for hopefully double lung if it slows up here. It's moving pretty fast. Come on. All right, that should have been double lung. Didn't get a chance to spot it, but it looked pretty good from here. Uh, it was a five medium, so it's not going to be big enough to be a gold anyways, but yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely an albino. Yep, there he is. He's down right there. Another albino water buffalo. Man, I have no clue where we're going to put this, but it is definitely going to get mounted and put in our trophy lodge somewhere. But like I said, I really have no clue where we're going to put them because we have the big, the big, uh, albino in the front, but I don't know where we're going to put this guy. Here he is. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, he's a five medium, so really nice buffalo. Let's actually just pick him up. And he's albino, 266. We only got a single lung hit on him, it looks like. We ended up getting a score of 607 on him, but all that matters is he's another albino water buffalo. All right, so we just found a track from, I'm pretty sure what should be a diamond black buck right here. We're trying to find a big muley again, and we found, let alone, oh, oh my God, a leucistic, a leucistic. A leucistic? One of these should be a diamond. But do we take the leucistic? Let's take the leucistic. And hopes that maybe the diamond will come back. Okay, so I don't think the diamond actually showed himself just yet. So in that case, let's slide over here and pick up this rare black buck and see if we can't get a look at this diamond black buck somewhere. Do you see that track right there, the green one or the turquoise? That is the diamond potential black buck track. So yeah, pretty awesome. We got a leucistic down here. Let's just pick her up. And also a consecutive harvest check too. A leucistic, we made a lung, liver, stomach shot, and that's our second leucistic, our third rare black buck. So pretty awesome. We will get her taxidermized. But I wanna make sure we don't spook this dime potential black buck. Oh, there's a couple males. That very well could be him there. Oh, right there. That's not him, but I see his track. I definitely found his track. Oh man, did the puma come by or something? I think that might be him right there. I think that might be him. That might be our diamond stuck. He's stuck at uh, oh, about 40 yards out. I'm not 100% sure it's him, but I think it should be. And in that case, we might be able to get ourselves a diamond with the bow. He's a diamond, 955, our first diamond black buck to the lodge and we took him down with the bow, 955. So he's on a smaller end of a diamond, but he is a diamond indeed. And we made a 6.47 yard, looks like double lung liver stomach shot as he was sort of running against that tree there. Um, he was kind of stuck. I tried to wait for him to get unstuck, but hey, I'll take it. Another diamond to the lodge. Okay, so here's what was interesting to me on that black buck. I was sitting right there on that hill calling like crazy. I saw a bunch of females and a couple of males, but I didn't see him anywhere around. And after about 10 minutes, I figured, well, might as well try and look over here and see if we can see him. I saw some males down there, some females over there, and then there was something stuck right there. And I saw the track and sure enough, it was him.
And now what I would really like to do is try and find a dime potential mule deer, especially since the racks are going to be changing soon and we're not going to be able to get such a huge rack um, once the true racks actually do come out. So we want to try and find one before they come out. So I see something that looks a little bit odd here. The one on the left looks pretty white. I think that this is a dilute. So yeah, I really want to add to our lodge. She's about 190 out. Let's take a shot with the seven millimeter. Hold up, I see something else. What is that? Oh, a couple of really good fours there. If only we found something a little bit bigger than that, because we already have something very similar to this size here and this size here. But what we don't have is this. Got a vital hit and she should go down. Actually, we're a little bit too high on that, but uh, yeah, it worked out pretty nice. All right, here she is. She's sort of a rare, but not really. She's definitely uncommon though. So we'll take a picture of her quick and let's add her to our lodge. She is a dilute and it looks like we got a right lung hit on her. So yeah, pretty awesome. We might actually leave her bedded down since that was a position that she was in. Let's get her mounted. All right, so we just got eyes on a really nice four easy muley here. He's going to be really tough to pass up. He weighs 420 pounds, so he should be close to a 900 plus. He's about 36 out right there. We have a need zone, well, a drinking zone right here about 20 yards away from us. So hopefully he comes right past us. Well, if he's gonna hold up there. That looked pretty good from here. Yep, double lung. He's going down right there. Now we didn't take a shot at anything just yet. So we should be good on consecutive harvest, but just in case, Pull the seven millimeter here quick and get a consecutive check. Oh, there she is. Interesting. She took a shot right to the head with the seven millimeter and it didn't even affect her. Oh, she's down right here. Okay, good. I was going to say the seven millimeter to the skull should definitely take down this doe, which it looks like it did. Yeah, right to the skull. All right, we're at 100 percent. Let's go over here and take a look at this buck now. Like I said, he should be close to a 900 plus. All right, here he is. Let's pick him up. And he scores 918. We got a double lung, barely missed the heart of that. Trophy rating of 460. So this will be our biggest blonde muley mounted in the trophy lodge at this point. Uh, until we get something bigger than him, I'm pretty happy with this guy. We made a 28 yard, looks like double lung shot, and a nice gold muley. Not even a nice, that's a big one, 918. Well, looks like we're not having the greatest luck at finding a diamond potential muley. But then, this happens. All right, so it's a little bit dark out right now. I've been looking for a heavy track from a mule deer for about an hour and a half, and I finally found a really heavy track, and it led us right to this guy. This thing is huge. I don't think he's gonna be quite big enough to be a diamond, but he's gonna look awesome in our lodge. And we're definitely going to take a shot as soon as we get a chance. All we got to do is have him come a little bit over here. Give us a broadside shot and we'll take it. <laughs> look at this guy here. <laughs> look at how small he looks compared to this one. Oh, look at Here he comes. Here he comes. Tried for a double lung hard shot. And I think we got double lung. So that'll take him down. Let's get a consecutive harvest check. And a blonde female as well. That should go down. Let's go over and go take a look and see how big this huge muley is. All right, so there he is down there. Looks like he went about 30 yards, so he didn't go very far at all. And there's our doe right there. Let's swing by here, pick her up quick, and then we'll come back and check out our huge muley. All right, let's pick her up. We're at 100% and let's actually save it because it might look cool next to this one. And here is our giant muley. Let's take a look at him. Can't really see him very good, but we will take at least one picture of him because he's huge. Maybe one more. All right, let's go with that and let's pick him up. 475, 932 score on him. So yeah, he's not quite big enough to be a diamond, 
but he's an absolute monster. We made a double lung shot at 111 yards out, and he is definitely going to the lodge. Oh, that thing was huge. Let's see how much he weighed. He weighed 429 pounds. So if he would have weighed another, I think, two or three more pounds, he would have been a diamond. Either way, I think he's going to look absolutely incredible as a full body mount in the lodge. So let's get it mounted, 4,220 cash. There we go. All right, so we just got back to our trophy lodge and we decided to put our albino water buffalo right here on this plaque. There's really not very many places to put him in a full body mount, especially considering his size. So we're gonna keep him right here. All right, so next up, we're gonna put our diamond black buck right here. And that'll be our 955 diamond black buck. There we go, we actually took him down with the bow and I think we'll keep him just like that. So where we're going to have him is pretty much right next to our diamond fox. We'll have a diamond black buck there and we'll have our diamond reindeer here. Uh, next up, we're going to go put our leucistic. We already have two leucistics here. I mean, we have one leucistic and one melanistic, but we have another leucistic that we have to find a spot for here. Uh, if we could put her somewhere in here, I wouldn't mind. I think we can actually put her here. That would be this uh, leucistic black buck. There we go, let's put her there. And what can we put here? Uh, we did get a dilute mule deer, so we'll put her there. She's not really rare, but I mean, she's still pretty cool. Definitely uncommon. All right, so next up we have our mule deer. This is the 914, I believe it was. We got him with the bow. And last we have this guy. This is our huge 932 score on mule deer. Not quite big enough to be a diamond, but he's still huge. And with the true racks coming up soon, I am so glad to have a rack just like this. We're gonna keep looking for a diamond and hopefully we do replace this guy with the diamond eventually. But for now, we'll keep him there. And that's gonna be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. There he is. It's a mythical. And we dropped him. What a giant. Holy.